who don't really understand the game. It's it's a great example for lessons in life, how to run a business, how to run a philanthropy, how to run anything so that where you're dependent on the man on your right and your left and and everyone doing their job. And I think this year the sense of team and putting team first is at the highest level. And it's you know, we've learned it's not the teams that have the best collection of talent, but it's the teams who really come together, especially in December and January. You think back to that Giants team who, I don't know whether they're 9-7, and seven, just squeaked yep. into the playoffs, and then they were playing so strong, and they they pulled off the big game against us. You know, I don't think people would have projected that in the middle of the season. I have known him since he owned the Boston Lobsters of World Team Tennis when I was in college. I, I knew his late wife, Myra, very well. This is one of the really the best people in sports, and a little-known fact about Mr. Kraft is he has hired a grand total of two head coaches since he has been the owner of the New England Patriots. One was Pete Carroll, and the other one was Bill Belichick. He inherited Bill Parcells. By the way, you can tweet us at this show, at ESPN Radio, using the 1-800-Flowers.com Twitter feed. Surprise someone special with a gift just because, just because, from 1-800-Flowers.com. Go to 1-800-Flowers.com slash ESPN for exclusive offers. Um, I'll tell you something about the Patriots. And people are reluctant to call them a dynasty because they have gone so long without winning. This is one of the great dynasties we've ever had. In a salary cap year, with everything that has gone on in the sport, every year they're good. Every year they're good.